West Branch schools facing an $800,000 deficit, and that will mean big cuts if a half percent earned income tax credit doesn't pass next week. First News reporter Amanda Smith takes a look at how the campaign is going. West Branch last had a school income tax in the 1990s, but it's no longer being collected. The district is asking people to consider putting it back on. It's always a difficult subject when you're asking people for more money. You know, they're putting out a very high product at West Branch with, with very little funds. Mike Emmons says the district has some of the lowest school taxes in the county. And working for the levy committee, he's seen a range of reactions to the idea. We've seen uh, a lot of people that are just going to be no's. And we've seen a lot of people who, when we present these facts and get out in front of it, have been um, surprised at what West Branch has been able to do. The district has already cut teachers, programs, and administrators. If the levy fails, the district will move to a pay-to-play sports system. The next cut will be to go to state minimum busing. That means no buses at the high school or for a two-mile radius from the elementary schools. It certainly would save us on fuel costs, um, on um, benefits to employees. And the superintendent says the tax levy was his last option. He'd rather see the state spend more money on schools and less on rainy day fund savings. It is raining, and it's, it's raining over the entire state. Um, there are certain uh, districts that that rain cloud is certainly sitting over in terms of their financial you know, uh, prospects, and I think that uh, we're one of them. In Beloit, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.